We've all played in games where either we've bowled too short or too full, or someone in our team has done that. And some smart Alec in the side always shouts out, pitch it up, bowl a line and length, as if that's going to help, as if we're not trying to do that. So the question really is, why are we bowling too short, or why are we bowling too full? And there's a technical reason for that. If your bottom half, if your base is working very quickly, if you think of a javelin thrower, a javelin thrower's legs are very active and they lean back and they pull. And of course a javelin goes up at 45 degree angle. So there's a clue there really. If you're running downhill, let's say, you're on, a, on an outfield or a pitch that, that slopes down quickly or you're running in too fast so your base is getting ahead of your top, what you might find is you bowl very, very full. We can use that to our advantage, of course, because if we are bowling short, we can just run in a little bit faster. But generally speaking, technically speaking, if you're bowling too short, it's because your top half is more active than your bottom. And if you're bowling too full, it's because your bottom half is more active than your top. So in other words, you'd look like this angle if you were bowling that way, if it was too fast at the bottom, and you'd be this way at the top if your top half was too quick for your base. In a perfect world, we're trying to get that shape in 10 peg three release of the ball, which is two 45 degree angles, where the top and bottom are perfectly married up together. And that gives us a line and a length. So sometimes when you run downhill, you can run in too fast because the, the pitch, uh, rather the angle of the outfield takes you in too quickly. Sometimes there's a wind behind you and you're running too fast. Sometimes when you bowl uphill into the wind, it's terrible because you really have to come charging in, suddenly the wind stops and then you overstep and you bowl a no ball. All of these factors are part of cricket, but I just want to help you understand that bowling short is usually because your top half is smashing the ball into the ground and if you're bowling too full it's possibly because your top half can't catch up with your base so you can either speed one up or slow one down but understand that the dominant part is going to be one half or the other but you can correct that in matches and the secret and skill of a great fast bowler is to be able to adapt that in the middle of a spell so you don't just carry on banging it in the middle of the pitch or you don't just carry on bowling knee height full tosses and wonder what the heck's going on because now you know what the problem is and you can correct it.